In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for B3+. This is the boron ion. Before we find the boron ion here, let's find neutral boron. We know it's neutral because there's no negative or positive sign after the symbol. So here on the periodic table, when I look at boron, it has an atomic number of 5. That atomic number there, the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So we know in our table here already, we have an atomic number of five for boron and we have five protons. When we look at atoms and ions here, the atomic number, that's gonna be the same for boron or the boron ion. And that's what makes boron boron, it has five protons. The thing that will be different though between the ion and the atom, the electrons, they're gonna be different. So let's figure that out. So to find the number of electrons, we need to realize when we have this neutral atom here, this neutral boron, that the number of electrons, that's going to be equal to the number of protons. So here we have five protons. We're going to have five electrons for this neutral boron atom. So we said for the ion, the thing that's going to be different, that's the number of electrons. When we have this three plus here, what that means is we've lost three negative charges. If you lose negative charges, you become positive. So we've lost three electrons, three negative charges. So five minus three, that'll give us two electrons. So this boron ion, it only has two electrons. Let's take a look at a simulation and see why that is. So this is the nucleus here, and then these are the energy levels on the outside. This first one holds two. This one here can hold up to eight. So for boron, we said we had five protons. So we have five protons, they're positive. So right now, this is a positive ion. Boron's mass number is close to 11. So we're gonna put six neutrons here. Since protons plus neutrons equals the mass number. And now we're gonna add electrons. We said for neutral boron, we had five. So there's one, two, this energy level is full here. And then we go to the next one, three, four, and five. So we've used our five electrons. We're interested, though, in the ion. This is the neutral atom. We said boron has a three-plus ionic charge. And that makes sense because if it loses these three here, now it becomes positive one, positive two, positive three. Now this is the highest energy level, and it's full. That's very stable. So that's why boron has a three-plus ionic charge. Back to our table, we found the number of protons for both boron and the boron ion, five, same as the atomic number, but the electrons, that's different. Neutral boron has five, and then the ion would have two. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.